Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey, what's up everyone? Steven here on behalf of LockerGnome.com and the LockerGnome YouTube channel. And today I got a video for all those Macintosh users out there about on how to unlock all the secrets of your Macintosh computer. And you can do this simply by running a little preference pane in your system preferences called Secrets. Uh, you can download it. It's a free download from a website at secrets.blacktree.com. And uh, pretty much what Secrets is, it's a database of hidden settings for Mac OS 10. Now these are pretty much it pretty much lets you unlock things that you should be able to do in OS 10 but Apple doesn't let you do um, and it, you know it's completely safe and you hit the button right here pref pane 1.0.6 it works with 10.5 or higher and it works flawlessly on Snow Leopard. You go ahead and hit that and then you go ahead and install it. I'm not going to do it because I already have installed it and you go ahead and open up system preferences and right here under other it's a little secrets button. You hit that, and uh, this is pretty much what you get. You get little check boxes right here, and the name of the secret. Uh, down here, you have a update secret, update secrets button for little updates. You have a help button, a revert button, which is pretty much like undo, and a more info button, which uh, it tells you more about that specific secret. Now over here, we have a little sidebar for uh, all the secrets. On the top, it says top secrets, which is pretty much the most used secrets. All secrets, which as you can see, there's a ton of secrets that you could do. Uh, you have new secrets, system secrets, doc secrets, uh, mail secrets, pages, photo booth secrets, just so many. And I'm going to be showing you a couple examples here. If I go to top secrets, I'll show you a couple of my favorite ones. One of them is show x ray folders in Quick Look. And I have that checked because I, I like this feature. I saw a video on how to do this, and you had to do something in terminal. But for this, all you have to do is hit the little checkbox. Pretty much what it does is uh, it gives you invisible folders so you could see what is in that folder before you actually open it. Uh, if you want to know how I did the quick look, it's just the, hitting the space bar. And I thought it was a really nice feature, and I kind of like that. Another one I also liked is drag widgets out of dashboard. So I can have widgets on my desktop. I go ahead and hit the dashboard button and say I want this widget uh, for Twitter client. Uh, on my desktop, I just click and hold it, hit the dashboard button once more, and here it is. It's on my desktop, it, and it is a floating window, so everything goes behind it, and I can still use it and do whatever I want with it. If I want, want and if I want to put it back in my dashboard, then I go ahead and click and hold it, hit the dashboard button once more, and let go, and there we go. I'm good. So those are really two of my favorite ones, and uh, some other nice ones are for your dock here. You can go ahead and, let's see, you can um, change the pinning of the dock. So say if I make this a little bit smaller, I go ahead and put this to start. I go ahead and quit this because it has to restart the application or the dock. Quit this, it opens it back up, and here it is. My dock is pinned to the left side of my computer screen. And then I can go ahead and make it pinned to the end of my computer screen, which is the right side. And it's over here. I can still make it bigger, smaller, or whatever I want. And if I don't like it, I go ahead and hit revert, restart it, and there it is. And you can also change the minimizing effect of the default ones in OS X are Scale and Genie. But they also have another one for Suck, which uh, just makes everything suck in and go a little bit faster. Now, they just have really a, a whole bunch of different ones for dock appearance as well. For 3D, you can change it to do to. T you can change it to 2D black very easily. I go ahead and hit that, quit this, and there we go. I have my 2D dock now. And it's just a really nice application, and I really suggest that you look in, look into this application. Not only is it for beginner uh, OS X users, but also more advanced users as well if they just want to customize their computer. Really nice uh, little tiny preference pane. And once again, they have so many different secrets. It is a free download, uh, secrets.blacktree.com. Thank you all very much for watching this video. I highly suggest you look into this application. It's really nice. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.